Hello everybody and welcome back to Provis Gaming and more CK2 Truly Saxon Savagery Playing as Germania, a new Holy Roman Empire of sorts We finished our crusade in only one video, actually, which is remarkably fast And took over the entirety of the Kingdom of Italy Because we're awesome! And now we are in striking distance to attack the Pope directly Now of course, before I do this, I do need to hand off a lot of territory, and there are many duchies to worry about now. So, um, I guess we should find some new characters. And this may take a little time, but I think it'll be okay. Uh, not in prison. Let's just say that they have to be married. I want these people to pass on their traits. Currently not a ruler. My religion. My culture. Yes, an adult. And not of a great house. Okay, there are actually not a lot of married men, it turns out. <laughs> Um, I could give my steward a uh, duchy, small duchy. Might be worth it, I suppose. He's actually pretty good. Maybe I should give him a slightly larger duchy. Like Florence. He's actually, these duchies are surprisingly small. Only like two, three counties each until you get up to northern Italy. Lombardy and stuff like that. Huh, that's interesting. Let's give this guy some territory. We are going to grant you... Florence. I have so many to sort through, it's not even funny right now. Oh gosh. Okay, hang on. Uh, la, 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 la. Too many temples, things I can't control. Oh, good grief. County of... I, don't, I can't see because of all the titles and stuff. Siena, Luca, or Florence. We'll do fine. Can I find any of those? There's Florence. Alright, give him that. And all lower stuff, and he loves me for all time. I shall also grant you... I wish there was a search option? Because there's right now, there's too much. And I can't... I can't possibly sort through all this. Where's Luca? I do not see Luca. There's Luca. Give you that one. And we will also give you... What was this one? Siena. County of Siena, 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 Siena. Where are you? There you are. Vicenia as well. Alright. You can make yourself into a proper duke. Now you are terrible. How you have zero, zero, zero stats. Oh, you're an imbecile. Uh, that's right. Definitely shouldn't give you anything. This guy seems pretty good. Courtier in Greater Poland. Let's grant you the titles of... You know what? I'm going to be generous. I'm going to give you Lombardy, actually. So let's give him this one. Lombardy, Lombardy, Lombardy. Where are you? Do, 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 County of Lombardy. I don't suppose that I inherited all the duchies, too, did I? Hang on. Oh, my God. All right. No, I did not inherit all of the duchies. We're going to have to usurp a whole mess more titles after that. But for now... I'll let them worry about it. Maybe they'll pay the money and become the Duke. What's this one? Pavia. This is going to take a little while. You know what? Um, maybe I'll just skip forward a little bit and just sort of show you the aftermath. Just know that I'm going to create a bunch of new Dukes. That's all you really need to know. Lots of new Dukes ahoy. Okay, that took a very long time. I did decide to hold on to Genoa for myself, at least for a little while. It's a pretty darn good province by itself. We have, however, created a whole new set of issues, and that is we are grossly over the vassal limit. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna have to find ways to uh, hand some territory off there, and probably the best thing I can do is actually create a kingdom now. And, uh, Germany's already been created, um... I don't know if I can create Pomerania? Maybe I can. Hang on. Let's see. Kingdom of Pomerania, I can create that. And hand that off to someone. I can also create the Kingdom of Bavaria. I cannot create the Kingdom of Bohemia. Uh, because there's a special condition for Bohemia. Great Moravia cannot exist. There cannot be a king of Great Moravia for that to work. So I think I need to create two new kings. And have them work directly for me. Uh, who's a good powerful duke? Who likes me? Who's good? This guy's not that great. This guy's got really good martial score at least. And he likes me fairly well. All right, we are going to grant... We're going to have to... You no, know, first we're going to create the kingdom. It's going to cost me a bit of money to make this work, but it's probably fine. Spend 200 gold and 200 piety. Create the kingdom of Pomerania. 
done, and we shall give that kingdom to you. And all vassals underneath. There we go. That reduces some of my vassals. Not a lot, but some. Um, now, he likes me a lot. Actually, a lot of these people like me a lot. I created some really good vassals down in Italy. Uh, we're still going to put you in charge, I think, as my marshal. Well, no, this guy... The 26th, though. I want to keep this holy warrior. Let's make my... You know, my son's not really doing anything useful. Let's make him into my marshal. He's a loyalist. He'll do what I say. And you're not allowed to be a commander anymore. Train my troops. All right, we need to create another kingdom of Bavaria. Uh, who should we give this one to? Now, you are not that great. You do love me, though. Who else owns territory down here? These are all tiny little fl things. What about the Duke of Austria? This child. I'm not going to create a child king that's just asking for a lot of trouble. Surely there are more dukes here, aren't there? Not seeing a lot, actually. Huh. Yeah, these guys never did create a duke, or a duchy. Well, I guess I don't really have much of a choice. Um, I guess I will be giving the Duke of Bavaria, the Kingdom of Bavaria. I guess that seems a little bit fitting. Let's go ahead and create that title. And we shall grant it to you, Kingdom of Bavaria and all other vassals. And now we are perfectly down to our vassal limit. Hokey smokes, that was a lot of land. And unfortunately, I can't usurp the Kingdom of Italy, which makes me kind of sad. Uh, and the reason for that is because of what? Hang on, there was a reason. Kingdom of Italy, you cannot usurp if the primary... Okay, if the ruler of another religion still holds land. So somewhere down the line, the King of Italy uh, still owns land in my, in my kingdom? He does not. No, he does not. Ruler of another religion who still holds land within it. He holds land over here, yes, but that's it. No, he's got something else somewhere. Where are you? Where is the king? Where'd he go? Where's his flag? I'm not sure yet. It could be because I've unpaused, I haven't unpaused the game and it hasn't reset yet. Okay, he owns the county of... He owns a territory... He does not own the Kingdom of Italy. I absolutely will be able to get rid of that. I think the game just needs to process. All right. With that finally out of the way, though, and my timer on this episode is going to be completely screwed up, so you'll have to forgive me, we are now going to declare an immediate war on the Pope. Look at that province, though. Holy crud, that's a good province. I want. We're going to declare war on you. The conquest of Rome itself. I can't really conquer everything else you've got. Um, and I don't want to do a holy war because I don't want to fight more Catholics, but I do want to take Rome before you can join any sort of defensive pact against me, which you know he's going to want to do. So, and if I can get my retinue there quickly, he won't be able to raise up what few troops he has. He also does not have any allies. Uh, I'm not too sure what happens if you declare war on the Pope and if other people are allowed to defend that or not. But he has very few troops, and if we get our retinue on there right now... He won't be able to do pretty much anything. So we're going to declare an immediate war for Rome. Done. Go, go, go. Get on Rome. Stomp on it. Now, do I want to be leading this? Probably not. Um, thank Mar here. And... I don't know. Kirsten here. Let's just put Erp in charge. I don't feel like I should be putting myself at risk anymore now that I am a mangled man. If you missed it last video, after we conquered Italy... In the process, I got myself into a bit of a tussle. Probably got myself caught in, like, I don't know, a chariot wheel or something. And I'm horribly mangled and scarred for life. I'll never be the same again. It's almost like being infirm or maimed, but not. Let's call in our allies. Let's raise up our own personal levy, of which I do have some in Genoa now. Let's get all these guys together. We're going to go take this. Now, once I do take Rome, what I'm probably going to do is give away faults, give away Genoa, and make this a new duchy for myself. Then again, I'm not too sure how that's going to work as far as the King of Italy. He may not appreciate that. He may not appreciate that I own a duchy within his own kingdom. So we'll see. Um, but for now, my daughter could use a new focus. She is curious. Curious, huh? Alright, curious is good for... Well, nothing really except for diplomat and diplomatic. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright, let's go jump on the Pope. And of course France will join. <laughs> you traitor. 
Traitor to the cause. Absolutely, we'll just go kill the Pope. Who cares? And Averia joins too. They're Catholics. Ah, we don't like that Pope anyway. And the King of Bavaria has created the Duchy of Corinthia. That seems fine, a new duchy down here. I'm not sure if he's keeping that for himself or what, but there we go. So my troops are on the way, yes? Yes, they are. All right, let's get down here. We're going to stomp on the Pope, and this is going to be hilarious. And then after that, I don't know what happens. We basically are done with the series, at least for a while. Hugo, the Count of Sungau or whatever, heir to the Duchy of Upper Burgundy. He's worth 70 gold. I'm not worried about losing some heirs and people that I could hold on to. It's fine. I think he's worth a lot of money to me now. We might as well get a little cash influx, yes? I think so. There's a little bit of gold there, another gold there. Okay. So can we now usurp that kingdom? Is this still... Okay, it still says he holds land within it. A ruler of another religion who still owns land within it. Is it because he is the Duke of Pisa? That might be. Okay. Is he at war? He is. But he's defending. It might not be because he actually holds a county in Italy. It might be because he's still the Duke of Pisa, so I have to usurp Pisa first, and then I can usurp Italy. I think that's how it's going to work, which is fine. Um, I'm very happy to create a new king of Italy. Having several really powerful kings working for me is very easy to control. Of course, I do have to worry about them getting a little bit too strong and wanting to fight against me, but, you know... Even so, um, it's much easier than micromanaging. Now, in order to get rid of some of my threat, one thing I could do is actually grant the independence of Kiev. Because that is um, land outside of my de jure realm. So it would reduce my threat a fair bit. And that might be an option if I need to. Are you going to go kill me right now? No, I'm going to get to Rome first. We're fine. All right. Well, let's just have fun sieging down Rome for a little bit while the rest of my troops arrive. This is going to be ridiculously easy. Uh, yeah, we're probably fine. It's fine, it's fine. All right. This is really crazy. Look how freaking huge we are. Ugh, Italy is a really good kingdom, by the way. It's a very large, very well-developed kingdom. It's arguably one of the most powerful kingdoms in the game. At least in my opinion. Uh, France is still pretty good. Australia is pretty good. Germany is pretty good. But really, Italy is where it's at. Greece is really solid as well. But... We're not going after the Byzant uh, Byzantines anytime soon. All right. Well, uh, let's just siege down the top bishopric of this theocracy. Hey, they got a new pope. I'm not going to torture people. So this one's not maimed. He's strong, and he's a mastermind theologian. Seems appropriate. Well, if we can capture him, we'll torture him too for good measure. Oh, crap. Where'd you get the troops? I don't know. Back up. I don't want those guys to die. Let's get all these people together in, let's say, Mantua. He's not going to attack my retinue. I'm not worried about that. And more duchies in Pomerania are being created. Good. My kings are doing their job and divvying out their new land. Uh, what child lacks a focus? My niece. Oops, I don't want to get her betrothed. I could marry her off to a 22-year-old man. Um, no. We're going to give you... You know what? Let's give you a faith focus. Maybe we can turn my genius niece. My genius niece? Oh, wow. Uh, I don't suppose I can marry you off to any, like, cousins or something and keep it in the family. My ugly adventurer son. <laughs> Hope he doesn't dare come back to challenge me. Um, We can betroth my niece off to the Coggin of something I can't pronounce. Not sure if I want to do that. No, let's give her a matrilineal marriage and see if we can't... Uh, only old people will do it. Maybe when she gets older. We'll try to get the uh, genius trait to continue passing on in the Provost line. All right, the top holding of Rome has been sieged. We are sacking Rome as we speak. Let's go down here. Actually, you know, what I should have done is actually turned on Raider and just actually burned down Rome. But if I'm going to conquer it, then let's not bother, right? It's probably fine. Let's see if we can stomp on his army. Apparently, I'm still leading troops. The King of Germany... Are you leading... You're leading down here already, aren't you? Oh, no, you're not. All right, King of Germany. Join me. Let's go murder the Pope. I have a grandson. Excellent. His name is Thimo, or Thymo, or whatever. My son-in-law. Ah, this is one of the matrilineal grandsons. Excellent. Another child lacks a focus. 
She is conscientious, rowdy, and an idolizer, and she's very attractive. Uh, she could be pretty good for a steward. Rowdy is pretty nice. Well, not idolizer, though. Idolizer, she could become a really good priestess. So let's just make her a really good steward. And let's see if we can get her betrothed to anyone good. Do I want to betroth off to the Coggin? It could be kind of fun. You know what? Yeah, let's uh, let's see if we can marry her off to another fellow emperor. That'll be good. When she gets all older. All right, let's get him. Let's get the Pope. What's this? An arranged betrothal between my daughter, the King of Sweden, once my thirteen-year-old girl. I accept. You may has her. She'll be excellent. Fine breeding. Fine genetics. I promise you. The finest stock I could possibly have afforded. Alright, let's see if we can kill the last of his troops. Die, Pope Man, die! And here comes France! <laughs> oh, it's awesome. I am actually tempted to... You know what? Screw this. I'm not gonna siege it down. Back up. Into my lands. Can you please... Oh, God. Stop stacking with me. New unit. Move everything over. I'm gonna turn on Raider. I'm not gonna burn down Rome because I'm gonna own Rome, but I am gonna burn down Orbitello. Or whatever you call it. Actually, let's kill off some more of his troops real quick. There we go. Easy enough. Now we can go burn down Orbitello. Let's burn down the rest of this. The Pope Man shall not have any useful territory in Italy. Not while I still draw breath. So no one else is joining the war. Nope, that's it. It's just me versus the Pope. Oh, that poor, poor Pope man. He didn't stand a chance. This is hilarious, though. Alright, I guess we can actually bump up to speed five. And some more tech points for me. Burn down the bishopric. Thank you for the money. <laughs> the Pope's territory is in flames. Well, this is pretty easy to work with. Not bad, not bad. As soon as this war is over, I think I'll usurp Pisa. Money continues to flow through the trade posts in Istria, but your relationship with the merchant family has soured. The patrician. Uh, I don't know what territory you own. Istria, you say? I don't remember where Istria is. There it is. This is a Venetian territory, I think. Nah, let's not move against the trade post. It's probably fine. A trade route from Faults is in dire need of a new ship and equipment. Faults? I guess it is on a river. Lose 200 gold. Huh. Where's the trade map mode? Trade zones. That's not it. There used to be a way to see, like, the Silk Road. There's the Silk Road. So you can kind of see where the trade routes down here and on the Silk Road go, but there's nothing here. I have no idea. 200 gold? It's too expensive. I don't know what I gain out of that. I don't know if that was important or not, but... The King of Germany is declaring a war against... Toulouse! He's trying to take over this territory. Oh, yay! A holy war, too! Wow, he's... Gonna take on the entire Muslim world. I hope he wins. Because this is about to get wild. Oh, lordy, lordy, lord. I'm definitely gonna keep Rome for myself. It'll be fun. Some people are trying to kill each other. That's fine. More money. More defensive pact crap. Don't care. I'm probably going to release Kiev. I don't really see any reason to hold on to that. We have a lot of loyalists again. Um, this guy's pretty good. The Duke of Holland? Sure, why not? Hey, look! More loyalists! <laughs> I can pass whatever laws I want. I shall abolish the council. I shall become God! The mangled God! Hey, we have an epidemic. Measles. Still no sign of the Black Death, though. Because we've been playing for 148 years. The county of Ancona has been converted. It's not quite the one I wanted, but that's excellent. Oh, good. We're actually starting to convert uh, Lombardy and stuff. Bits of Italy is going to get converted now. And down here, there's Ancona. Nice! Well done, everybody. I am very pleased. The Lords of Austrasia have improved... Uh, free investiture law. I don't care. Young Othelandis, my daughter, seems to have a lot of independent opinions. I will try to make her patient. I'm not sure if it worked. Uh, she did not become patient. She became cynical. She doesn't believe in Odin. I'm sorry, did you not see the glorious victory that Odin bestowed upon us in the conquest of Italy? Alright, you know what? Screw you, Athelandus. I'm not gonna make you any better. Burn all the stuff down. Burn it all to the ground. And I've inherited the county of Montferrato and other titles. 
This one. Oops. Uh, okay. I now own all of this. That's not what I want. I need to find a new character. Alright, hang on. Um, men. This guy's pretty good. The Marshal of Parma. Congratulations. You shall own the County of Montferrato. Montferrat. And Piedmont. This one. And Saluzzo. This one. There. Solves my problem. Genoa appears to be just a one province duchy, which is interesting. Yeah, it, it's it's one thing, one county. Not a duchy worth holding on to, to be sure. I wonder if the patrician families still live here. I don't think so. I think we actually managed to kick them out entirely. It's a really, really good province, don't get me wrong. I mean, look at this. That's really powerful. Still. Boom. Burn that to the ground. Inherited. Somebody inherited duchies. More places are getting converted. Steer mark this time. Uh, that is the one we were working on, so let's switch off to here next. How's the rest of our land looking? Pretty good. Do we own... Hey, we actually did manage to get that last territory that was in our duchy. Someone got it. Nice. So there's the Teutons. We're gonna have to kill them at some point. Can't allow them to live. Uh, but as far as our religion... It's looking pretty solid, actually. Yeah, the entirety of our empire is looking pretty good. What's this? Waldensian? A Catholic heresy. Ooh! We got Catholic heresies sprouting up. Yeah, their moral authority has been properly weakened. I think it's hilarious that the Orthodox don't really exist anymore. My if is I... We got a lot of money, and I probably should consider spending it, and I probably will. But first... Oh, good grief. A Catholic uprising. All right, where are they? No, wait, for real, though. Oh, gosh, there's 6,000 of them in the mountains. We'll deal with this first, and then we'll go kill them. The price of decadence. The ruling dynasty of Mohammeded Sultanate has been overthrown. Bloated fools, I say. Love your reinforcement rate. Well done, my boy. Many troops you shall get me. Let's capture this next castle. We're up to 93% war score now. Of course, once we finish uh, burning everything to the ground, we'll automatically start sieging this and getting war score from that, too. He has not managed to siege down pretty much anything worthwhile. He's about to siege down Siena, though, which I'm not really going to allow. So let's kill him before he can do that. There you go. 93% war score becomes 100%. And somebody has converted. Well, isn't that excellent? All right, so you've been properly burned to the ground. And I don't think there's much more money I can get from you. Do we want to siege down the bishoprics to try and siege more money out of them? Hey, they have another new pope. That's fun. Let's go ahead and get these troops together. We're going to go have to put down the Catholic uprising. Certainly can't allow that to, to uh, stand. Yeah, let's just siege down the rest of the bishoprics. We'll get some money, loot them for a little bit. It'll be fine. Uh, 17 ducats. See, that's what I'm talking about. Alternatively, I can just own it now. Hey, look, you got more, more men. Now, how'd that happen? From Domain... Oh, he hired a bunch of people. That's hilarious. They won't last for very long. You know what? No, let's just go ahead and end the war now. And there we go. I have successfully conquered Rome. Rome itself bows before the Emperor of Germania. Let's create a whole bunch of new vassals. We have many, many temples to work with. I'm definitely going to hold on to this territory if the King of Italy will allow it. Uh, this has already been handed off. Okay, I need to get rid of the Duchy of Ger uh, Genoa. Let's see, I need to find a new character. I need to end this video as well, but... Rudolph, you'll do fine. Let's grant you the County of Genoa. Now let's see. Pisa, I shall usurp. There we go. Now who owns these territories? This guy. Congratulations, you shall become the Duke of Pisa. There we go. And for the kingdom itself, he's at war? Oh, he's at war. He's defending against an Italian revolt independence war. Fine, I'll have to deal with that next time. But for now, things are looking pretty freaking solid. What's this called? Lat uh, what's the duchy? 
Latium. We have one more territory we could conquer from the Duke, and I'll probably hold on to that. I'll keep make this one of my own personal duchies if I can. I'll hold on to Rome. And yeah, things are looking up for us. All right. So now what um, is the real question? Because I'm going to end this video, but uh, I've done everything that I wanted to do at this point. So I think that I'm going to take a break from the series for the rest of the week. And I'm going to play it in my own time, off camera. Because now that we have sacked Rome, I've completed every single goal of the series except for experiencing the Black Death directly. Which won't fire for presumably another 50 or so years. So, yeah, uh, rather than drag the series on, which is what I could do, instead, I'm going to let the series just kind of end right here. And I'll pick it back up after I've had a chance to play this game uh, in my spare time, get to the Black Death. We'll experience the Black Death, and then if there's any last hurrahs you guys can think of, such as make the Byzantine Empire a tributary or something like that, we'll consider picking it up then. But for now, we'll just take a little bit of a break. Thank you all for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed this video. If so, then be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I, as always, will see you guys next time. <laughs>